Okay boys and girls, this lesson is introducing you to Matisse with the paper cutouts and what we're going to do is we're going to make Matisse dancers. And this is my example, so you're going to pick your own background paper and then another coloured paper to cut out to add extra background detail. I'm going to push this one just to the side, okay, and you're going to get a little Ziploc bag and inside the Ziploc bag are templates and they are torso templates and legs and arms. With a piece of black paper you're going to trace those templates. So you can see here with your bag you'll find that you've got two options. So pick one of them. You can do one that's curved for the torso or one that's like a peanut shape for the torso which means your centre body where your ribs and stomach are. That's your torso. You've got your head, thigh, so you'd need to trace this twice, and the calf, trace that twice, and also for the arm, you'd need to trace that four times to create an arm. And when you've got those cut out, you will end up still with some scrap paper. I'm just going to push this to the side so that you can see. You still need to create feet and hands. And how you do that is take the corner, cut a rectangle out and from that rectangle you're going to cut four squares. One, two, three, four. So for a foot, if I show you here, I'm going to just go up and create a curve and I'm going to give you a template or an image as to how to do it. Now there I've already created a foot. I'm going to do the same for another one. So it's a little bit like a pointed toe and then it goes up slightly so you've got the raised arch there. And there's my other foot. For a hand, if you watch here, I'm going to go up a little bit and then across. So I've created that shape already. And then I'm going to cut zigzags. So there's another finger. And I've got the thumb and two fingers, thumb and three fingers, and then a fourth finger. And when I've got that done, I can shape it so it's a little bit more rounder. And you're going to do that twice, okay? So you've got a hand for each side and two feet. So I'm just going to do another one very quickly so that you can see. So up there, across like that, there's my thumb. One finger, two, three. Okay, and I've got it done there. Okay, boys and girls. Now, I'm going to set that across so you can see what I've done so far. Let me move that out of the way. So I picked yellow. Now you can see that I've got my body parts. And I've also taken, I'm going to use bright pink. And just like Matisse, I'm going to cut and it's called drawing with scissors. I'm just going to cut an organic shape. So at the top, I can add my shape, and at the bottom, I can add my shape. So I've got that in place. Now, with my body now, and I'm going to show you examples, I can now start creating. my dancer and you don't glue it down until you're absolutely adamant that you're happy with the design and you're going to see here okay now on your table you're going to get a selection of different colors we'll also have the collage box out as well so i've got my hand there and there i'm going to put my foot there and my foot there and i'm going to bend that a little bit more da -da -da -da. There. Now, once you've got the dance move that you like, then you're going to start dressing and designing your, your dancer. So if I wanted to add a skirt, to make sure that I make it fit the torso, I'm going to put a little line there and a little line there. So it's on either side of that body. So you can see there. And then with my scissors, I'm going to cut 
cut and you can see I've got that shape and then I'm going to cut out some wavy lines. Now the, the triangles and the snips that I'm taking off I'm actually going to use for a headdress. Now I'm going to show you examples on the board of other Matisse dancers and there you can see. I can also take a piece of the orange that I cut off and I could actually create a bit of a top there just by measuring it and nipping it like that and then I could take these pieces modify them into the shapes that I want and add extra detail so you can see it's got like a crown and I can add more colors you're gonna get lots of squares and as I said go to the collage box as I work through I can take more colors that you have and I can cut more Matisse style shapes I use a lot of organic shapes and I could add them and use the negative one as well so I've got positive and negative so that you continue and if I just take you back to this one here so you can see I've added features on the face I've added the top I've added circles and I've still got the opportunity to add more detail to it so I'm going to give you examples of what's been done and now it's your turn boys and girls let's go and make some art